Hello friends, we welcome you to still another video in the series of types of pronouns. Now, we are going to discuss about next type or the next variety of pronouns and these are called distributive pronouns. As the word or as the name indicates, distributive pronouns, they show the spread or, the, or they show the distribution of the effect of the verb on multiple persons or articles. They, uh, they denote or they refer to individual members of the group and not to the collection. Collection itself is comprised of uh, multiple entities, but distributive pronouns, they, they always refer to any single parameter or quantity specifically or in a singular manner. The commonest examples of distributive pronouns are each, every, neither, either, everyone, none, any, etc. Of course, there are more distributive pronouns, but we discuss the commonest of cases. Now, something which is really peculiar and outstanding about distributive pronouns is that, that in most of the cases, these uh, distributive pronouns are singular. Why? Because they refer to an individual and not to the entire collection. Let's look at a few examples. Each student should get his notebook. Please understand and remember that whenever we have the word each, in most of the cases, as long as each is the subject of the sentence, the verb it takes, it, it, will, it will always be singular. And in this entire video, whenever we say verb, not only do we mean action words like to sing, to dance, to play, to eat, to act, etc. But we also refer to auxiliary verbs or helping verbs like is, am, are, his, have, had, etc. So remember, whenever each is the subject of the sentence, it will always be singular. So each student should get his notebook, his singular. Similarly, whenever every is the subject of the sentence, again, the verb that we use is singular. So every student should get his notebook. His is a singular helping word. And even when we combine the two words together, though it might sound a little odd to you and a little unconvincing, but yes, my friends, this is how the grammar works. Even if we say each and every student should get, again, we will use a singular verb, which is his or her notebook. And whenever we use either of these two words, either or neither, they always refer to two quantities or to two parameters. That is the most <coughs> distinguishing features of either and neither. Distributive pronouns, they usually use a plural noun and a singular verb. Like each of the students has to submit his assignment by the uh, weekend. So we are referring not to one student, but we are referring to a group of students. Out of that group, each and every student, each individual student has to submit his assignment. So students is a plural noun and has is a singular verb. Either of your cousins has the information. So here we are talking to uh, about two cousins of this concerned person. And uh, between the two cousins, one of them, has the information. So again, cousins is a plural noun and has is a singular verb. Similarly, neither of the men admitted his mistake. There are two persons or there are two men under consideration and, uh, and in between these two men, one of them, uh, sorry, none of them is going to admit to his mistake. So men, plural noun and his again a singular Verb. Uh, so uh, there's, uh, uh, yes, there is one more thing we would like to, uh, we must talk and discuss about distributive pronoun, especially each. Now this word each, it's not necessary that it is stuck at one particular position, which is in the beginning of the sentence. In fact, the word each can take multiple positions. It can be located at different positions in the sentence. And of course, the verb that we use accordingly changes. But the connotation of the word each will always be 
singular, irrespective of the fact that wherever it is placed in a sentence. Though such construction at times, they might sound a little awkward and a little weird to you. Yes, I understand why does it sound weird? Because it's a little unusual. We normally don't speak or we normally don't write like that. But anyways, they are grammatically correct and it's an acceptable usage. Let's look at a few such examples. Each of the girls was given a present. I mean, it's a very simple construction and all of us, we use it like that. Each is the subject of the sentence and hence we use the singular verb was. So, uh, somehow the sentence can also be rewritten as the girls, the girls were each given a present. Now here, the meaning of each is again singular, though we use a plural verb here because here the subject is not each. The subject in the sentence is girls. Therefore, our verb would agree with the subject, which is girls, and therefore it becomes plural. But the meaning of word each here anyways is singular. One more example like that. Each of them has been told. Normal sentences, the way we normally speak and write, or it can also be rewritten as they have each been told. Why do we have a plural verb have? Because this agrees with the plural pronoun they. Okay, now after this bit of download or information we have exchanged about distributive pronouns, uh, we have a small little quiz to test our own understanding of distributive pronouns. So at the top, I have written all these distributive pronouns so in brackets, and these are the uh, pronouns which have to be filled up in the sentences below. Okay, first of all, dash of you has to do over time. So which distributive pronoun you feel can be filled in here? Yes, uh, it's perhaps the simplest one. We simply say each of you has to do over time. Uh, though we are referring to the group, but we are addressing to them as individuals. The general was disheartened when dash of his tactics worked. See, first thing that we need to understand is that what is the connotation of the sentence? Now, the general is not very, uh, he's not very excited about something. Rather, he's feeling very uh, disheartened and dejected means the connotation of the sentence has gone negative. So we definitely need a negative word here. So it would be the general was disheartened when none of his tactics worked. Okay, moving on to the next sentence, dash student would solve equations. In fact, you can have, we don't have one right answer. We can have uh, uh, multiple uh, answers here. Either you can say, each student could solve equations, or you could also say every equation student could solve equations, or you could even say each and every student could solve equations. That's fine. But since we have already filled up each in sentence number one, so in sentence number three, we can put the word every, each, each and every, all of them are correct. Not dash can lead the world. Okay, quite a a philosophical sentence, but which pronoun do you feel fits in here? Not dash can lead the world. So what do we say? Not everyone can lead the world. Okay, fifth, dash student knows the answer. So again, the sentence uh, can take any connotation, but as for the words that we have required to fill in the blanks, what do we say? Uh, neither student knows the answer. Again, we are talking about two and between the two, none of them knows the right answer. You can add dash sauce to pasta. So quite simple, you can add any sauce to pasta. We have a selection of sauces and any of them could be added. And the last one and quite simple, I would like to eat dash pizza or burger. Simple. I would like to eat either pizza or burger. So this is uh, this was a small download on usage of distributive pronouns. So I hope uh, we are a little more familiar and we are a little more comfortable in the usage. And now we will use we will continue to use them correctly. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your participation. And 
Happy learning!